Hello, Scorpio. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a timeless reading. So no particular time frame for this one whenever you're tuned in and guided to watch this. Hopefully there's something in the messages that resonate for you. I'll be pulling from these three decks. The first is my own, the Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck. And we'll pull some messages from the Fire and Ice Lenormand. This one's by Angelic Revelation 144. And I'm just reintroducing my tarot teacher. This is the revised edition. Wanted to bring it to the forefront to introduce it to those who would like to learn how to read tarot for yourselves. It's a great deck to start with. It's got upright and reversed interpretations. So it makes it really easy to learn. All right, guys. So if you're interested in any of these decks, the link will be down below. So let's get started, Scorpio. General advice as always. So please keep that in mind throughout your reading. Always take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. Okay, so whoever it is that you're focused on, if anyone, what do you need to know when it comes to this reading here? Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. All right. Ooh, we've got the twin. Okay. You are my twin flame. You are the other half of my soul. No one else could ever come close to the type of intense spiritual connection that we are blessed to share. I'm honored that you are mine to explore this thing called life with. My life partner, my best friend, my soul spouse, my forever love. So if you're listening to this and if you already know that you're a part of a twin flame journey, there could be something pretty significant here for this reading. If you are single, you might ultimately meet somebody who matches you on that level. So let's see. Beautiful card to start. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. What do we need to know here? What do we need to know? Magnifying glass. Take a closer look. That kind of reminds me of connections that might be fairly new. And it's asking you to get to know that person a little bit more. Who knows? In time, you might find that it is coming through as a twin flame connection. Whoa. This is the next card. We have tree that is followed by masculine followed by flowers. Okay. So take it if it makes sense. Just like I said, you know, you could be dealing with a divine masculine here. Maybe they love to bring flowers. They are coming through as somebody who could be very passionate. Okay. Love, passion, appreciation. And then we have this tree reference here to stay and grow sacred soul connection. So if you're obviously thinking about a particular someone, it is telling you that there is the possible the possibility towards longevity here. If you are single and have yet to make that connection, you might just find that you're a very lucky person to have met this individual. So if you happen to be divine feminine, this could be a masculine who comes into your life. Maybe you've already met them. Maybe this is a part of the journey that you're meant to have. So that's pretty darn cool. Let's see what else we can find out with some tarot. Now, some of you might be watching this and are part of a twin flame connection, but maybe you guys are not together right now. So Divine Feminine, you might be in separation from your masculine twin, but this progression of cards kind of reminds me of somebody who either touches base unexpectedly, they might call you or they might just drop by. They could drop by with some flowers. You could receive flowers out of the blue. It's one of those things where you don't see it coming, maybe. Look at this. We're starting off with the Wheel of Fortune. So something's coming back around. It could be your twin who's coming back around for some of you guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is the Death card. So why is that significant for a Scorpio reading? Because the Death card represents Scorpio. So something came to an end Scorpio. Okay. So even though it came to an end, one thing great about the death card is there's a transition that's happening. There is a transformation going on. There's some sort of major changes that are happening in your life. And what it does is it creates new beginnings as well. So let's just say you and your twin are in separation. You're not together. 
that's one phase that happened, but it's now coming back around to bring you a new cycle. So that could be a blessing. Maybe you guys needed to part ways in order to come back even stronger. Wow, six of swords. Ten of cups right after. All right, so you're heading towards these calmer waters represented by the six of swords. That's a nice energy. Um, it's another transition card. You put that next to the death card. We've got two cards amplifying that transition, Scorpio. Okay, so you're, you guys are leaving something behind because it's just not serving a purpose any longer. You know, it's like dead weight. It needed to go. Something needed to go in order to perhaps come back way stronger, certainly when it comes to your love connection with your twin flame here, because we've got the Ten of Cups. This, of course, representing the possibility of a reunion for the two of you. It certainly represents happiness. It can represent, you know, your ideal dream come true when it comes to your person here. So even though something happened and it was challenging, that's not the full story. There's something better that's coming in. And so this wheel is constantly turning. It's constantly shifting and changing. And there's something better that's about to happen here. So that's, I feel, a nice energy. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Queen of Cups. I mean, Scorpio is a water energy, right? Cups represent water energy too. I'm feeling for some of you guys, maybe you both are water signs or you have a lot of water in your individual charts. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming through. Let's see what else. And I'm feeling for my feminines intuitively, you might even be picking up off of your masculine twin and what they're thinking, what they're feeling right now. And then we've got the six of pentacles. So I really love how we've got sixes represented here because sixes can represent growth. Okay, for the both of you. And the six of pentacles, namely, is about equality. So giving and receiving equal give and take. That could have been lacking before, but it's not now. You guys are both coming through with a really good energy. So for this twin flame connection, it looks like there is a possibility towards reunion. Okay, so I really like that. And then we've got the four of swords. So even though you might have experienced some something in your connection where you guys had to part ways and maybe spend time on your own, in a way that four of swords is like a reset um, for you guys to kind of regroup and come back even better, even stronger. But the way this is presenting itself here for this connection, I really do feel you guys are a perfect match. I'm, I'm really feeling really good energies for this. There's still a very strong bond that's represented through this connection. And I feel in your heart of hearts, maybe you already know that. So something's coming back around. I really feel with that Wheel of Fortune energy, they will return. And it's coming through as a twin flame. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box, as well as the link to all the decks you see here. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I'll see you next time.